Hey everybody, it's Dave Juno from Aeneas Disease Warrior. How are you all doing? I'm doing pretty good. Um, if you like what you see, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. Um, I don't ask, I don't ask for money. So everything's free that you're seeing. And you can watch all my videos. You can go back and watch them as many times as you want. Um, so like I said, please feel free to subscribe if you like it. So, you know, today I was going to make a video earlier today, but um, something happened. I laid on my couch and, and just woke up about an hour ago. <laughs> but I was going to make a video on um, the blooming of Dr. Dingleball's herbal cures. Okay. Just as a reference, I've done videos on these before. I'm not going to do another one. Um, just don't fall for their crap. Um, they comment on everybody's posts. They're too chicken to make a post themselves. And they comment on everybody's posts. They'll probably comment on this. So, please, don't fall for their crap. Um, because it's been an explosing, explosion of it. I've even seen it, like, in the bigger groups. Which is something we don't normally see in the bigger groups. They usually hang out in the smaller groups. Now we're seeing it in the bigger groups. So, this, somehow they found a way to get into groups. Um, but... I was on a Zoom call, and I can't um, really discuss the group, per se, um, or say the group because it wouldn't be fair to other people, other people's groups. I wouldn't do that and um, on, my, on my YouTube channel. But we had gotten to talk about awareness. It made me think, you know, what do we do to make awareness of our disease, right? So a couple people were talking, one was talking about they, um, they're making a documentary uh, movie, which is great, the money will, will go towards research. Um, and another one was talking about the golf tournament and um, whatever, they all stay do, they sell merch. And that stuff goes to uh, Minia's research. And I know another person who wasn't in a group, but she writes books and uh, her name is Julianne Wallace. And her Meniere's books, the 100% of the profits, go to Meniere's research. So, you know, and other people like me, I said, well, I run a YouTube channel. Um, and it's a vlog. You know, it's about my experiences. And, and, but I also share it, um, you know, on my personal page, anywhere I can. Um, I discuss my Meniere's disease um, with as many people as I possibly can. Just to, so people know what this is that goes on with us. And that's the key to finding um, uh, therapies and cures and, and things like that is making awareness of it, telling people about it. You know, um, I told the story about um, how a few years ago I was, after my labyrinthectomy, I was walking in the park down the street from my house and somebody happened to call the cops because they thought I was a drunk old man. Okay, well, I don't think I look that old, but um, <laughs> but they said, you know, a drunk old man. And, uh, you know, it's kids in a park, so I, I kind of don't blame her. Blame the person. It was a woman. I don't blame the woman. Um, I probably would have done the same thing if I had my grandkids with me. But, um, you know, the cop came over. He knew who I was. He knew I had surgery. He knew everything. He knew about my ears. Then I talked, the woman came up to me as I was leaving and to apologize for calling the police on me. I'm like, I wouldn't apologize, don't worry about it. I would have done the same thing. That's fine. I'm not, and I wasn't mad. Um, but, you know, she had asked me, you know, what many years disease was because I guess the police officer told her. And the police officer knew me because I coached this kid in baseball. And um, she asked me what Benia's disease was. I so sat down and had a 20 minute conversation with her kids. Her kids were little, and they were cool. They kept high-fiving me and stuff. Um, but come to find out, she's like, geez, my mother has vertigo from time to time. And she's got the ringing in the ears and the roaring. You know, and, and she, you know, went to, she said, geez, I said, geez, well, have her see an ENT. Or talk to her primary care, see an ENT. Um, and go from there, but please let me know what happens. Um, I'm really curious, gave her my phone number, my email. Uh, I never heard back from her, and that's fine. And I haven't seen her again down the park when I go walking. So that's fine. I have no issue with that. But I made awareness to this person. So she probably made her mom aware 
and her friends are aware, you know, like people talk, you know, hey, I met this guy today, he has Meniere's disease. See, so the word gets out and it spreads and it spreads, you know? So let's, let's make awareness of this thing. You know, make a post on your personal Facebook page about it. And I know a lot of people don't like talking about themselves because they or what they have because, you know, let's face it, people behind, you know, a keyboard, a keyboard warriors, they generally will say things online and not to your face. Um, I'm not one of those people, I'll say it right to your face, I don't care. Um, but, you know, you can't be afraid to make awareness of it because one is who knows you might be somebody might have Meniere's disease and you might have led them on a path to to you know getting diagnosed and getting treatments or surgeries or things that might work for them maybe they don't work for you but they don't work for for everybody um but you could put them on a path you know so make awareness of this disease anywhere you can um, on your Facebook page, Instagram. Um, I, I have an Instagram account too, Meniere's Disease Warrior. Um, I have a Twitter page, Meniere's Disease Warrior, or at Meniere W. That's what they gave me for a hashtag name, for an uh, at name. But there are all these things that you can do. Share the channel. You know what? You want to make awareness to your friends? Share my channel. I've had people do that. And friends of mine have watched it and they've been like, wow, they're impressed and into this and that. And they, they had no idea what Meniere's disease was, had no idea what I go through, um, you know. And just make that awareness and, and, and get it out there, you know. You've got no problem making awareness of other diseases. Shouldn't be a problem making awareness of this. And then hopefully at some point, There'll be uh, a therapy that will work for everybody and prob possibly a cure that will help everybody who has Meniere's disease or vestibular migraines. So on that note, I'm going to, you know, let it go. I thank you for watching. Again, um, if you like what you see, subscribe. And I will talk to you all soon. Take care.